Vitamin synergy is something that I used to talk about a lot and it's almost something that has slipped my mind and is so incredibly important in the context of fat soluble vitamins and especially the diet I follow. So what vitamin synergy is, is just consuming realistic amounts of all the fat soluble vitamins. And what triggered me to remember this was I had people messaging me saying, Frank, I took cod liver oil and got insomnia. Frank, I took too much, I ate too much liver and I'm getting insomnia. You need to get adequate amounts of all fat soluble vitamins. Otherwise, you will have adverse reactions. So the study and the main study I'm going to focus on in this video was done on turkeys. They were fed equal amounts of vitamin A and vitamin D in both small and overdose amounts and they were fine. But if there were deficiencies in one vitamin or incredibly high amounts of one vitamin, i.e. they fed them large amounts of A and low amounts of D or large amounts of D and low amount of A, there were various bone deformities, malformations, defects seen in the turkey. So it's very evident that consuming improper ratios of fat soluble vitamins not seen in nature will cause adverse effects. This is incredibly important and this is understated. This is probably the most important message I have to get across in any of my videos. I'm sorry guys, I forgot to mention it. You have to consume <laughs> even amounts of all of these vitamins. In nature, it just happens. You eat some liver, you get some sun, you're good. Those are the main vitamins we're talking about. But, you know, modern foods are not as high in vitamin K2, in omega-3s. There's a lot of things that have to be done in the context of modern society to make sure we get enough of all the vitamins. And in this case in particular, it's mostly a vitamin D3 deficiency. Uh, at least that's what I see in a lot of cases. So I was actually just going to like eat some raw liver in this video and go over what you're pretty much missing. But uh, I think I kind of hammered the point home. You know, it's interesting that you could just you could eat raw liver and literally completely satiate all your body's vitamin and mineral needs. This is baby lamb liver. It doesn't really have much of a taste. I already took this today, but what I basically do is I take uh, five to 10,000 IU and I rub it on my skin when I take the liver. This is pretty much how I balance my fat soluble vitamin intake. When I eat liver, I gauge, okay, how many IUs of vitamin A did I just eat in that liver? And then I take the corresponding IU of vitamin D3. I think that vitamin D3 in general should usually be higher than the IU of vitamin A consumption, but I know that if it's at least equal, it should prevent a vitamin D3 deficiency. So keep that in mind, guys. And when we're talking about, you know, what vitamins we're trying to consume in balance, it's mainly vitamin A and vitamin D as the other vitamins, vitamin K2, vitamin C, vitamin E, all of those things are not really difficult to get out of balance. Uh, it could be hard to get some minerals, but uh, I talk about that in a video I'm doing on the RDAs, and that really doesn't tie into this conversation. The main concern here is hypervitaminosis of vitamin A or vitamin D 
And what adverse effects, I mean, you would see insomnia from both of these. Um, it's actually, it's not possible to overdose on vitamin A or vitamin D and get severe side effects. It's usually these things that become very noticeable like insomnia or, um, I mean, I don't really know any other things, but there, there's definitely some symptoms that I've seen people have in my comment section, as well as there's an, another symptom related to heart problems that is related to cod liver oil specifically though. For the cod liver oil thing, it might be more of a histamine intolerance to the cod liver oil. I'm not 100% sure. It could also be to do with the oxidized rancid fatty acids, but either way, I have a separate video on cod liver oil that I will be coming out with, you know, within a, a period of a week or two that might answer those questions. But to, to remove any concerns you guys might have of consuming too much of one vitamin, this is it. You pretty much have to say, okay, how, if I was consuming this food in nature, I'd be getting some sun too. That's pretty much the only concern. People just aren't getting enough vitamin D3. So thank you guys for watching. Please try to get this message out there. I think I kind of uh, dropped the ball on uh, letting you guys know this because uh, it's something I've practiced for many, many years. And I kind of, for some reason, I forgot it, you know, for the past year or two. I didn't really, uh, I guess I took it for granted that I was tanning and getting so much sun exposure that I forgot the importance of taking a vitamin D3 supplement when you don't do that. Uh, if you guys would like to support me, uh, please check out, uh, I mean, just share the channel. I have some affiliate links for some products, as well as some, uh, you guys can check the various degrees of support on my Patreon, and uh, for one-on-one -on -one stuff, just shoot me an email at frankatufano at gmail.com.